during the pandemic and we will continue to do so. Mr. Speaker, there are people across this country asking this Prime Minister for clarity, leadership and hope. People are so frustrated with this Prime Minister that there's protests nationwide. Canadians are just asking for respect and to be listened to. With the continued uncertainty and brazen disregard for legitimate concerns around the state of our country, I ask the Prime Minister the simple question. Can he share with us what evidence he has to justify implementing an interprovincial trucking mandate? The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, you can't end a pandemic with blockades. You can't end a pandemic by decreeing it. You can't even end it by legislation. You need to end it with science. You need to end it with public health measures. You need to end it. I just, I just want to point out that when the Honourable Member for Regina Louvain asked his question, it was dead silence. I believe he deserves the same respect when he's getting his answer. The Right Honourable Prime Minister, please proceed. Mr. Speaker, you cannot stop a pandemic with blockades. You cannot end a pandemic by decree. You can't end a pandemic by legislation. You need to end a pandemic by relying on science, by public health measures, and by vaccinations. That's exactly what we have focused on through these past two years. And even as Canadians are tired and impatient for it to end, we are going to continue to be there for them, to support them through it, and to make sure we do everything necessary to end here, this here, pandemic. Here, here, here. The Honourable Member for Regina Louvain. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister just demonstrated why Canadians are so frustrated. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't listen. I asked him to show me some evidence in science around interprovincial trucking mandates, and he totally ignored that question. So my question to him would be, maybe a redo, because he maybe will get it right the second time. How high do grocery prices have to go? How empty do grocery stores have to be for him not to implement an interprovincial trucking vaccine mandate? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, first of all, uh, the member opposite is criticized something that we haven't even done. Uh, so there's already that issue there. But secondly, he talks about empty grocery store shelves. He talks about disruptions to supply chains. The reality is, Mr. Speaker, right now, people in Windsor are suffering and losing their jobs because they can't get auto parts across the Ambassador Bridge. People in Alberta are seeing short st shelves empty because they can't get deliveries across the Coots border crossing. And this Conservative Party that supports these blockades won't even stand up and say, enough is enough, it's time to go home. The Honourable Member for Grand Prairie, Mackenzie. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ireland, Sweden, Norway, Israel, Czech Republic, the UK, Spain, and Denmark are all removing restrictions, including vaccine mandates, even though they have a lower vaccine, vaccine rate than we do here in Canada. Saskatchewan and Alberta provincial governments have also announced plans to remove their restrictions. When will the Prime Minister follow our international allies, follow the science, follow the expert advice, follow the premiers, and give Canadians a plan as to when he will remove the federal travel restrictions here in Canada. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, throughout the pandemic, different jurisdictions have handled things differently every step of the way, whether it's jurisdictions across the country that we've been there to support or different countries that have had much worse outcomes in some cases, much more, many more restrictions in other cases. The reality is we will continue to do what is right for Canadians to keep people safe as we get through this pandemic. And yes, I understand how frustrated Canadians are, how much we need to 
to see an end to this pandemic. But we can't do it by decree. We can only do it by continuing to trust science and getting people vaccinated. Here, here, here. The Honourable Member for Grand Perry McKenzie. Well, Mr. Speaker, that's the problem. There he goes again, refusing to answer the question. He, it seems he'd rather wedge, divide and stigmatize fellow Canadians. The problem is, is that Canadians are better than that. They're sick and tired of his divisive games. They have done their part and they deserve to know when Canada will follow our international allies and end our restrictions. On what date will the restrictions end? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Canadians have done their part. They've continued to step up and get vaccinated to a higher percentage, mind you, than the Conservative caucus has. They've continued to follow public health advice. They've continued to be there for each other, to lean on each other. And now we see the Conservative Party continuing to egg on its supporters to shut down border crossings, to encourage its supporters to blockade downtown Ottawa because they're upset they lost an election. Mr. Speaker, we're we're going to continue to focus on supporting Canadians, on keeping people safe, and on vaccination. The Honourable Member for Burnham.